All right, so I'm about to connect the water gravity fill box. That's what this box is. When you open it up inside, you have the connection for the water. Water goes in through there. And a secondary way to fill up water. And then you have an air hole. So we're about to connect all three of these. This has these holes in it for me to screw it onto the side of the truck. Of course, there's going to have to be a hole the shape of this rectangle. And then it has a lock and a key because it's going to be on the side where the people are standing at. So in case somebody tried to tamper with it, because you know people are always touching stuff, it'll be locked. And then if, if I ever have to fill up water while it needs to be locked, I don't want nobody messing with the holes because it's filling up and I need to walk away. It has this little trap door where the holes can already be connected. Then you close this and it can still be filling up and I can walk away and nobody can mess with it. I love that. <laughs> Found this on uh, Amazon. It's like $20 by uh, Valterra. So this is what I'm about to hook up. I got to take the whole wall panel off. I'm glad I don't have anything permanently set to the wall except for the... PEX pipes, I did secure them to the wall, but it's just a nail. So I can pop that off and then pop it back in. The drain pipes are not connected to each other. So I waited to do that just because I always may have to take something apart because I'm just figuring this whole project out as I go along. I'm kind of glad I had the pipe set up already because now I know exactly where I want this to go. Right up under here like this. So if I didn't have everything almost set in place, I wouldn't know exactly where to mark off to put this here. It's going down up under here. I drew a little raggedy rectangle, but that's where I'm cutting the hole at. So now that I've had to take down the pipes and I got to take the pin off, if I build another truck, what I would do is still connect the pipes and have everything set up into place so that I know exactly where to measure to put the inlet to. Look at that. There's a piece of wood right there. I'm about to make a box around the box a wooden box so that I can screw through these screw holes into the wood and this will be secured into the wall of the truck on the inside just watch I'll show you part right here is the water connection you just screw garden holes in there I got a garden hose right here so you put your garden hose on there like that now that's on so it's hooked in there and this was the other little feature I was telling you about the trap door you slide this over and you can close it lock it and walk away while it's filling up the other way is to take this off this 
will be another way I could just stick the holes in there and hold it and push water in that way, force the water in, or it'll just be air, an uh, air hole. And then the other air hole that's down here at the bottom, that's connected. I connected this one to my gray water tank. And I'll go inside and show you that connection. All right, so we're back inside the truck. This is the inside area of the water inlet tube. I should not need to come over here messing with this. This is the connection where I hooked up the garden hose that comes in through here and goes in down here into the reservoir tank. This is the other hose where I just stuck the hose in. This is going to be a two purpose hose. I can fill it up manually by holding the hose in there with water or it can just be an air hole. Then this is the third hole that I connected this hose on to for an air hole and this hose is going to go all the way down to the gray water tank so that's how i set up my water gravity fill box i'm gonna seal off the edges with this clear dap it's like a caulk so i just applied the caulk all around the edges of the gravity fill box and then after i was done i smoothed it with this smoothing tool and that was it Thanks for watching, you guys. <laughs>